Welcome to the first video of my new channel, Amsterdam Comic Geek, that's my name. My real name is Michael Munebo. I'm a journalist and I write about comics and popular culture. And I'm also the author of my friend Spider-Man, Superheroes, Geeks and Fan Culture. And you might wonder, well that's not English. Well that's right, because currently the book is only available in Dutch. But it's a book about my love for Spider-Man and what it means to be a fan or something in a broader sense of the word. I'm Dutch, I live in Amsterdam, hence the title Amsterdam Comic Geek and I've been a YouTuber for quite a while now but I thought well maybe it's good to try this in English because I love talking about comic books especially Spider-Man and Marvel comics and um, in the Netherlands there's not a lot of people who like that sort of stuff so today I want to talk to you about this comic book in particular because of the cover, it's made by Ron Friends, and Joseph Rubenstein is the inker of this one. This is the Dutch edition of uh, Amazing Spider-Man. In Dutch it's called The Spectaculaire Spider-Man. And spectacular, you think, well that's a um, reference to Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man. And that's a comic that was also published in the Netherlands. It was published in the Netherlands from the 1970s, late 1970s, until somewhere in the 2000s. And then uh, the licensing deal, the Dutch publisher had Junior Press fell through because they couldn't afford it anymore. But I was brought up on these comics, on these comics by Junior Press. And these are the Dutch translated editions. So that might look a bit weird to you guys if you're not Dutch. I'm Dutch and I think our language is weird sometimes as well. But I wanted to start this new flogging adventure with this cover because it's one of my favorite Spider-Man covers ever. Also, Ron Friends is one of my favorite Spider-Man artists ever. He did uh, Spider-Man in the 1980s. Uh, Tom DeFalco was the writer of most of those stories. And later they did Spider-Girl together. But the reason I wanted to show this one is uh, a couple of years ago in uh, Belgium, there's a comic book museum and they had an exhibition on comic book covers and they asked me since I write a lot about comics I'm sort of an expert in the Netherlands to tell them what my favorite comic book cover of all time was and I had a hard time figuring that out because there you know, a lot of great covers were made but eventually I chose this one originally it's Amazing Spider-Man 258 and this is the comic in which is revealed that the costume Peter Parker took with him from uh, the special planet where the Secret Wars took place is a symbiont. It's a, a, an alien creature who wants to take over Peter and make him into his puppet, so to speak. He has a nightmare in this comic and that's what's symbolized, what we, it's what we see in this cover illustration. And um, it's a great comic, a lot of stuff is happening in here, besides the alien costume saga. For instance, Mary Jane has just told Peter Parker that she's always known that he's Spider-Man. It was a big reveal back in the day. Now that led to the, to the marriage later on, which was uh, discontinued later by, by, by Marvel. Eh, some people are still sore about that, and I understand that. And there's a lot of stuff going on. And also Mr. Fantastic telling Peter that his costume is like a symbiont creature, like I told you guys. So, But the nightmare Peter has prior to this scene is very interesting. It's like a warning that something is going on. That as soon as Peter falls asleep, the costume gets on his body and basically plays Spider-Man while Peter is still asleep. Now this was a big reveal, and while he's out there in New York, he has this nightmare in which the black costume and Spider-Man's original costume, designed by Steve Ditko, are fighting over Peter Parker, basically. Basically tearing him apart, as you can see here. Now, why do I like this cover so much? It makes you curious about what's going on. It looks great, it really grabs your attention. 
and uh, it's very well drawn. I also like the fact that we have the original Spider-Man costume and the black costume, which was pretty popular at the time, fighting over Peter Parker. And it's not your average comic book cover. It really, really stands out when you look at, when you go to the comic book store and you see this one. You think like, all right, so what the hell is going on? So I really, really love this cover. Ron Friends also made a couple of other great covers. This one, for instance, in which Spider-Man is fighting the Hobgoblin. This is also a Dutch edition. And uh, this is a great comic as well. Most of the stuff from the 1980s is very, very readable nowadays. It's very great stuff still. And also I love this one. This is the comic in which Peter, finally getting rid of the alien costume in the comics before, decides to you know, take his old costume out of the closet and become the original Spider-Man again. And I like the way Friends draw Spider-Man here because it's really mar very much like Steve Ditko's Spider-Man. The way the webs are attached on the costume and his whole the way he moves it's really a Ditko-esque so to speak. So I really like that he really did a homage to the to the old master. Steve Ditko who passed away earlier this year by the way just like the other great guy Stan Lee who passed away just a couple of weeks ago, basically. This is another one by Ron Friends. I like this cover as well. Puma is an interesting villain that was introduced in one of these comic issues. And the last one I wanted to show you was this one. It's a Spider-Man annual in which the Scorpion, well, basically tries to get revenge on Jameson for creating him. It's also a very dramatic cover it's very exciting to look at and it's a lot of there's a lot of action in here and also it's setting up your curiosity for the story of what's inside so i think that's what a cover should do like this one anyway if you like this video please subscribe and like it and uh, there will be more on the way in the future thanks for watching